Welcome to Stories Behind the Frames, a video series that will expose you to new artists and take you on an artistic journey. I'm your host, Dave Petty, and I'm thrilled to have you join us. Through my years at the Frame Center and my time spent in the South Shore art scene, I've had the opportunity to make many relationships with so many talented artists. Inspired by these connections, and a wealth of untold stories, I've decided to share these conversations with you. The hope of Stories Behind the Frames is to show you new artists, the interesting artwork they create, and what a thriving art community we have here on the South Shore. Okay, so not only is Laura a fantastic painter and teacher, I think she's just an all-around great human being, great person. Because of her being on the podcast and welcoming us for a studio visit that I really found that I want to continue these conversations and recording and try to make something. She was just so welcoming, such an enjoyable uh, conversation and visit that, you know, We had to actually go back twice because we lost track of what we were doing, just having so much fun talking and talking about art, talking about all sorts of different things. And in fact, every time I see Laura, I'm excited to have conversations with her about her art, about other people's art. So I'm glad we actually were able to sit down and put this whole thing together. Now we're sitting down with Laura. We, uh, I'm excited to be here and I want to start by just saying thank you. A lot of this ideas that, that I've had like so far about recording stuff and like exposing artists to like a broader community it has to do with like how you know how awesome you were when we were out the last time and like how much fun you know the, the the time was like coming out here the last time. We didn't, we didn't even <laughs> sit down. I mean, I think, you know, know. and I think we could have probably been here even longer. Um, I, I know, thought, I think we were here for like three or three <laughs> and a half hours. Yeah. I think it was amazing. I yeah. think it was, uh, it was awesome. Um, and I was, ex- you know, excited to, uh, to be here. I th- took away a lot of great stuff from it. And, you know, most importantly, I think I took away the, you know, well, I took away the painting, but I also, uh, you know, took away, you know, that this is something I really want to, pursue and like get more you know more videos of so people yeah. yeah so i think it's wonderful that you're doing this for all the you know all artists in the community and local businesses and yeah just promoting people and it's it's really a loving thing to do it's just it's very touching we're trying to do you know i, I think i think people you know i i want to do whatever we can to promote the arts on the south shore and for people to understand what a great like art community there is here Mm-hmm. And you know how many talented artists are you know mm-hmm. tucked in the you know probably hidden you know there's probably like one right next door to just about everybody. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that in this community, I think sometimes it's you know you people don't know or they don't know people as artists or they just you know they need a little push to you know understand why they like art and you know what you know what's interesting about it and like the different layers of everything. So. Mm-hmm. I'm, all, I'm excited to be back here talking with you and to go in depth on a couple of the pieces that you know we touched on the last time and uh, you know we, we got we got three lined up for today and mm-hmm. I'm gonna let you pick which one you want to start talking about. Okay, um, let's talk about this because this is the um, the Provincetown Art yep. Association Museum which the exhibit is going on right now. <clears throat> this is not my painting. Yep. This is actually Mel Lipsick's painting. Yep. And he is a, um, a wonderful artist that I met. I, I, mm, it's probably been about 15 years, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but he was working on a series of paintings, painting artists in their studios, and he's done a lot of really well-known, I mean, like, really well-known artists that he's, yep. that he's painted, so I felt very, like, humbled and privileged to, that he wanted to paint me, along yep. with my husband, who's a musician, yep. um, in the painting. So we, I love the story of him because we became friends, um, well, actually, let me back up a little bit. <clears throat> he, um, I was introduced to his work probably 25 years ago or more. Um, I was having an exhibit down in Connecticut, and um, the owner of the gallery said, oh, there's this guy in this magazine, like, you know, art news magazine yeah. that, you know, I think you'd really like this work. So he showed me one of his paintings. I'm like, oh, I love this guy's work. So yeah. I, this is before you had computers and everything. Yeah. So every time I would see his work in one of the art periodicals, I'd be like, oh, I love this guy's work. But I didn't, knew nothing about him. I yeah. didn't know how old he was or where he lived or anything. Yeah. And, um, no internet to the No, no, yeah. like, you know, I had no idea. <laughs> nothing. I know, I didn't know anything. And, um, and then it was so weird. So I think this was like about 15 years ago. But again, I'm horrible with time. <laughs> <clears throat> he was, um, I just happened, the Google was still, you know, you weren't, like, I wasn't Googling things. Yeah. I mean, some people were doing it more, I mean, I just, but it wasn't my thing. I just didn't yep. do that, I don't, for whatever reason. Um, but for some reason, that day, I happened to get on, and I was Googling something about the Cape Cod um, Art Museum. Yep. And I don't know why I was, but anyway, it turned out that he was exhibiting there. Mm -hmm. He had an exhibit going on right then, and he was giving a talk that day with two other artists who were his um, past students. Yep. So I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he's talking like in two hours. Yeah. Bill, we're getting in the car, we're driving down to the Cape right now, we're going. Yeah. So we went down and he gave this great talk with um, Linda Pacheski and Dan Finaldi, who now we've all become friends. Yeah. Um, but they gave a talk about their art and they talked about, they all taught, they all teach painting. And they all talked about their process and what they, their thoughts were about teaching. And it just validated everything that I thought about art and how I was teaching. Because sometimes you're like, you know, like, do I even know what I'm doing? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but it was just great. And so I happened to talk to Linda first, and I was explaining how I had, you know, been admiring his work for a long time. And by, yeah. the, by the way, so I think when I met him, I think he's like 86 now. Yeah. So that would have been whatever, 70s, you know whatever, divide, minus 13, 15 years. Yeah. Um, he was talking to, he had lost his wife about four years before that, so every time he talked about his wife, he got choked up, which yeah. was very um, endearing and also sad that how much yeah. he loved his wife. So I just appreciated him as a human being. And, um, but anyway, I talked to Linda first, and we just hit it off. And she was, she was living in New Jersey, which is where Mel's from, and so was in Dan. Um, but, Linda was moving to Boston, and I said, hey, you know, since you're moving to Boston, you probably don't know anyone, let's get together. Yeah. And um, so we did, and she said, oh, you should meet Mel, and so then I was talking to Mel, and he's like, I want to paint you, or, you know, yeah. this really thick New Jersey accent. Yeah. And uh, so I'm like, sure. Um, so that, but that took a few years before that came around, and so anytime he came up, he would stay at the Cape for yeah. the summer, well, a few weeks during the summer, and he'd invite, he'd have a party, and we'd all go, and... So we all just got to be friends, and then Linda was here, so I get together with her, and she, I love her. She's someone that I really admire her work. <clears throat> so anyway, um, so he'd done this painting. Mm -hmm. well, um, I don't know. That's is this is this this is in here. Yeah, and it's actually very cool. I mean, I, you, you can't probably see it as well on the camera, but mm -hmm. what's really neat is this is him painting us. See that in the mirror? Okay. That mirror right there. Okay. And then he has the reflection of his easel mm -hmm. in the in the um, okay. in the drawers here, and then you can actually even see him through the the um, the metal here, like yep. you can see reflections of him painting us. So it was it was just pretty cool. And then he yeah. also painted the outside. This is his first painting that he did where he <laughs> took the outside and brought it into the inside. Yep. So he's done that in a few paintings since, but he was very excited okay. about this being the first time he'd ever tried something. Yeah, on a pond quick look, I was thinking it was like on a deck, but you know, yeah. It, yeah, but now it, it all make you know. Yeah, he brought because he wanted to incorporate the the view, but yep. um, he just well, I don't know. That's what he came up with yeah. to be able to do that. And then the the originals on a, like a, is that a very large scale pa painting or is that? Yeah, it's uh yeah, all of his paintings are, are pretty big. big. Like I think 
this one's like a 36 by 36 inch, mm -hmm. and that's probably on the small side for him. Yeah. Um, a lot of his paintings are, for you know, 36 by 48 mm -hmm. or 48 by 70 or yeah. even large. I mean, he just paints large. Um, but he has so much detail. Yeah, no, you almost, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah I, you know, I, this is like a small, small, uh, you know, <clears throat> smaller print. So, yeah, I can imagine that the detail in yeah, this is, it's, all must of be work unbelievable. Yeah, it's is amazing. Um, so, anyway, he did that painting. He's also painted all our children together. And then he put, like, this on the wall, like, us, so that we're still in the painting. Like, he painted really? that painting inside of it. Yeah. And then he did another painting of me with the curator of the Art Complex Museum, mm -hmm. Craig Bloodgood. Yep. So he, so those are the paintings that he's done of me personally. Yeah. But um, but he anyway, he's done all these paintings of all these artists, including Linda and Dan. Yeah. And other artists, George Nick and Lois Dodd. So I came up with this idea. Mm, I don't know again how long this has been. Maybe seven years ago, eight years ago. Um, of having an exhibit, a traveling exhibit, where mm. Mel had the paintings of the artists that he painted, yep. and then the artists would have a painting of theirs in. Yeah. Yeah, such a cool, and, like, like such a cool. So idea. it's it's really I think it's kind of neat, and yep. um, so we started at the Art Complex Museum. That was the first one, and each exhibit's a little bit different, different artists because different museums have different um, qualifications for their exhibit. Yep. Also, so depending, like for instance, P-Town really has to have artists that are affiliated with P-Town yeah. in some way. So that altered some of the people that could be mm -hmm. in it. And um, and then like, you have different curators that are involved. The yeah. one in P-Town, Craig Bloodgood curated. Yeah. So he picked, you know, who's actually going to kind of be in it that had those um, P-Town affiliations. Yeah. And... And he had um, enough of a he has enough of a catalog of work that wasn't a problem with any of the curators to to find you know to, to find the you know enough the work yeah oh yeah no he's got oh my god there's so many paintings yeah <laughs> it's like it's unbelievable mm -hmm. um it's he paints he still paints every day and now like I said I think he's eighty seven he paints every day all day pretty yeah. much. He's a good life. That's all he wants to do. Yeah. Um, so he's very prolific. So anyway, the the one the la the, the next exhibit was at the Cape Cod Museum, mm -hmm. and that was um, I don't know maybe five or six years ago. Yeah. And then this one is currently at the we were supposed to be before, but COVID hit. Yeah. So now it was it started in June, and mm -hmm. then this Sunday is actually the last day, which I'm really sad because. The opening was so fun, and yeah, it was I saw really some pictures yeah. On it was so packed, and it was really fun because a lot of um, the artists were able to go, yeah. and so other people that were in the crowd were trying to find the artist to match the painting. Yeah. So it's like, have you? Is that you in that painting? Yeah. Is that you in that painting? So that was kind of fun, and also an icebreaker to be able to talk to people. Yeah. And um, so it was. I, I just and there's I. Like, I want every. Idea. I wish everyone could see it because to me. It, there's so much energy in the exhibit of mm. all the different artists that have yep. work there, and it's, I just thought it was just great. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun to just to see, like, well, I could talk about this story, but one painting was really cool, too, yep. um, by Tom Smith. He did this really large painting, and I didn't know what is, I mean, it's a very abstract yep. painting, but he does a lot of sculptural work mm -hmm. with twigs and things that are yep. connecting, and there are these, like, spheres, and then there's a lot of open spaces, and I didn't, the painting that he did was actually um, of looking at the sculpture, yep. and the way the light was hitting it, and looking up into, because they're huge, they're yep. like these big, big um, spheres, and I think somehow it was like looking up into the the sculpture that he made, so it's this really abstract painting of that. It's yep. really cool. It's just a, a lot of yeah. layers to it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was really, it was just great. And that was the thing too, the diversity of the artists, like everyone yep. painted so differently. Yep. And there's a, um, Chip Brock has like a sculptural piece in there that's on the wall with like, kind of looks like a wooden boat sort of thing. And In the portraits that Mel did, do you feel like you did a great job of like capturing their personalities? Too? Yeah, I, like, I look at this and I see you and your husband. Yeah, I mean, you can tell. It's just like, it just be, you know. It's like, it's, it's yeah, a little, has a whimsical kind of a feel, I think, yeah. in a way to it. But, and um, I think, you know, people were definitely saying, oh, you're the one in the painting. Because even yeah. I went back the next day, because yeah. um, I wanted to look at it privately. Yeah. Because there were so many people around, I wanted to really, you Enjoy know. Enjoy it. Yeah. 
And so when I went in and the, whoever was working at the desk there went, oh, are you in the painting? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, people are kind of... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's fun. <laughs> so, yeah, it was fun. There's this one that I picked up from you last, yes. time, we were, <laughs> last time we were out here. And I brought it back so you could see it I re love, reframed. I love how you how did I, that. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's just, you know, call on the frame. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, when you, you can a, do that. When you, <laughs> you, know, when you, you can get those really expensive yeah, frames. Yeah, you need to, you know, I need to, you know, yeah. I need to make sure that I'm showcasing those type it of frames in the ass. It's so beautiful. And that one is Nantucket, you said? Yeah, so this is Nantucket. Um, I go out to Nantucket a couple times a year, usually. Mm -hmm. And I usually, I, I don't do a lot of plein air painting, but I do do it. Mm -hmm. And so I tend to do my plein air painting there because... I don't know why. I, I, don't, I mean, I do do it around here, too, but for some reason, they're, I usually am, they're off-season, yeah. so I don't have people around me, and it's easier access to, I feel like it's just easy to get into places with a car and yeah. make stuff, and we're around here, it's, I don't know, kind of trickier. Yeah, then um, you run into somebody now. Yeah, and I just like the <laughs> you're moving the lights yeah. moving so fast, you have to yeah. paint so quickly, and I, I don't want to talk to anyone when I'm doing it. Yeah. I, some people can do that, but I don't have that um, talent. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, you know, it's just a place that I like doing that, and it's quiet, and it's, I, I don't know. I, yeah. it's, for some reason, it's the place that I tend to do that kind of work. And this is called um, the Widow's Walk. It's over in Wisconsin. Yeah. It's, um, it's sort of at the beginning of the Widow's Walk, and I love that feel. I love taking that walk, mm -hmm. and it's I, it's just it's just right at the beginning, yeah. and it feels like okay, here we go down Off. the path. It's and it's beautiful. Have you ever done that? No, walk I've only or? been in, I've only been in there took it a few times, but I I want to uh, I want to th this painting is inspiring me to go it's on a. So uh, Go there for off, probably off season. Yeah. My uncle has a place there, so I'm gonna try to. Oh, then visit, I'd like to visit him off season. That's how I get there because my brother has yeah. a place. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I want to. I want to go to this spot too. Yeah. Oh, you would love it. I think it's it's Just, you're, yeah. you're up high and the ocean is down yeah. below and they're all so that's like it starts with these this pathway so you're between these cute adorable little cottages yeah. and you walk along and then you walk behind everyone's like backyard. Yeah. It's sort of kind of wild. You kind of feel like you shouldn't be walking there yeah. because like it's their backyard, but it's the path. And mm -hmm. then, so on the left hand, well, because you're walking this direction, on the left hand side, all the um, mm -hmm. houses are there. Yeah. And then the right hand side, the ocean is there, yeah. and it's a big drop down below. But the ocean is down below, and and it, you know, wicks and mags and yeah. do it, and um, and it's just I don't know, all the every single house is either adorable or incredibly gorgeous. Yeah. And um, they start off. They start off with these really small ones that are yeah. like, I just think are the cutest little things. And um, yeah, I want to stand in that spot. Yeah, and there's was, always great light. <laughs> it's just it's beautiful. It's yeah, beautiful. I was I've been kind of like fixated lately on like structure paintings, and this is definitely a little bit different. I don't know if it's just like that triangle top and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like and this is I I when I saw this one, I was really struck by it because I think it's just a different perspective of what I've kind of been fascinated, you know, like yeah. fascinated with yeah. lately. Um, there's a whole bunch of them, but it's, you know, not like the straight on shot, but I, I like it a lot. And I'm, like I said, I want to go and, uh, you know, maybe I'll take the painting with me. You know, <laughs> I'll take I'll, a picture I'll of make, it, you know, yeah, like, where I'll, was she I'll standing? Make my new, I'll make my new photographer take, <laughs> take a, uh, a picture of me. Might holding, yeah. that, right? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a good reason for a field trip with them. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it is. It's neat. Well, it's also a little like when I I when I plain air paint, I'm a little bit looser. Too. Yeah. I'm not as detailed yeah. oriented, so I simplify a lot more when I paint like that. And I, you know, I think I've mentioned before, I need both sides to painting. Yeah. Sometimes I need to paint like, like just you know, yeah, blow thing like work with a palette knife or something, or be a little just more looser. And then, but then I do really enjoy the mm -mm -mm, you know, yeah. getting into the detail of things too. So I need. Both and if I do a painting that's super detailed, I, I like then have to do a painting that's super. You got to balance. I do because yeah. I have both sides of that personality. Yeah. I think you know you kind of paint. I think a lot of artists anyway do not everyone, but um, yeah, with a certain temperament yeah. that you have, and 
I can be both. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Whenever I take personality tests, I'm like A and B. Depends yeah. on it what depends the circumstances the are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, that's. I mean, that, that that's important, right? And do you feel like when you're teaching, you're going in both? Dr- you know, like you, you're guiding people in both directions. Mm-hmm. Too? Yeah, because I really want them to f- paint with their voice. Yeah. So that's really important to me to, like, I'll I'll ask them ahead of time. <clears throat> Um, how they want to paint. Like, yep. Do they have particular artists that they admire that they're trying to emulate yep. a little bit? So they'll give me feedback on that, what they're trying to go for. So I have it all over the gamut. You know, I have yep. people that are trying to be super loose, so yep. people that are trying to be really realistic. Um, yeah, it's an interesting <clears throat> setup. Yeah. Do you prefer pe- teaching here in, in your own space, or do you like venturing out to I like yeah. both. Yeah. I like this. Feels like if, in, if you had talked to them today, like they, yeah. th- this feels like summer camp to them. Yeah. So I teach in a pretty laid back style yeah. anyway. Well, for some reason, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, but I have to say, here feels even somehow more laid back, kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a little. It, not that we're super chatty. I wouldn't say that. But at the beginning, sometimes it can be a little chatty. Yeah. And. Um, you know, because people are happy to see everyone. Not that the classes are too. It just depends. Some classes are a little bit more like that, and other classes are super quiet. And I mean, I don't let it get crazy where it's just mm. conversation the whole time because I think that can be distracting. Yeah. But um, yeah, you don't want to distract the other person that's not involved yeah, in the conversation. Yeah. 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 So, they all came with a reason. Yeah. I and mean, then, like you know, I'm sure that there's a, a story behind this there's one. A story for every painting, I think that I've. I do because I'm always attracted to like I walk in somewhere and I'm taken with something and then sometimes I know right away and sometimes I leave for a bit and mm-hmm. then I'm like oh I can't stop thinking about mm-hmm. it and I know that I want to do a painting of that um, sometimes it's just a matter of because I like views and yep. you know this is actually unusual for me but I usually like a water view because yep. I've lived on the on the coast for most of my life so um, I like water so sometimes I'll just ask if people have yeah. views that they wouldn't mind me coming in and yeah. setting up to take a paint and to do a painting mm-hmm. um, but this one actually is of um, Big Pink which is um, so the band which yeah. was Bob Dylan's band they called mm-hmm. the band yeah. and they did like um, take a look I can't say yeah. take a yeah. look <laughs> off any. yeah I know the side <laughs> so you would recognize yeah. some of their music <laughs> Uh, so anyway, we go to, in the summer we go to Woodstock, New yep. York, and we go to band camp. Yep. And, um, and we saw the pictures that I've said. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're, you're living the, you know, it's all, I mean, music, uh, yeah. there's just so much, it's all art, right? Yeah, so it it's is. All, it, it's, is. It, it all ties together, it right? Like, you listen to art, you look at art. Yeah, yeah it does. It's, mm-hmm. And luckily, my husband is in sync with that stuff. So yeah. It's great. So we go to band camp and then there's a uh, big pink which is where they made one of the albums called big pink so it's yep. this house that's pink yep. it's a nothing house really i mean it's like not like it's not glamorous or yep. anything it's just a house in woodstock well not actually woodstock but uh, i think it's socrates maybe or mm-hmm. i forget but anyway very close to there and um you can stay there so we because we've been up there so many years now we've become mm-hmm. friends with the owners and people from band camp were yeah. all like friends yeah <laughs> so we stay at this house big pink but it's really amazing because like they made a whole album yeah. there yeah. and like van morrison was there yeah. and george harrison was there and you know all these like famous musicians yeah. were in this room yeah and they but they made the album in the basement which is where um you know, like it's just a basement. It's yeah, really a basement. It's not even like a no, it's really not even a nice stick. basement. It's like you know, it's and so because we know so many musicians, we all go downstairs and play music until way late in the morning. And what do you play? I don't play anything. I play. I have a tambourine yeah. sometimes or an egg shaker. I like to dance. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, you know, I try to do some little singing, very little singing because I can't sing. So I just, but I love music. Yeah. And. Um, and so, you know, everyone has their different talents of what they do, and not everyone plays music, but we just love music. Yeah. And so, there'll be anywhere from 6 to 12 of us, or yeah. sometimes even more that are there. So we'll play music downstairs, or sometimes, like, I know some friends that have just, like, laid on the basement floor and went, oh, the music was great. Yeah. You know, you're just trying to soak up that energy. 
But anyway, the basement's not as intriguing visually to me. Mm -hmm. um, but in this room, which is like the living room, so that table is where like they wrote a lot of their songs. Yeah. And um, so I just was so intrigued by being in this room because this is where we hang out when we're yeah. not in the basement and like the kitchen's off to the side and stuff. And we just, you know, we play music up there too, yeah. but it's more like acoustic y and, um, you know, there's more conversation and stuff. Yeah. And different because we've been there, like I said, for a while. So different friends will pop in and out, and someone might come by to play a little bit of music or. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it is very cool. I just was so intrigued by that whole area, mm -hmm. and um, this is like what they looked out on, and there's a pond way down there. So when they, they took the pictures from Big Pink, they all the guys in the band were like over in this corner, but mm -hmm. you could actually, it was before all the trees were there, so you could actually see the water yeah. from there. You can't see it anymore because everything's grown in. Um, but I obviously, you know, guitar and yeah. bongos because there's some Is that Bill's that guitar or is it? I think no. I think that's actually our friend's guitar. Yeah. Um, and uh, of course, I have my shell in there for yeah. reasons of not pertaining to that. Yeah. And um, so that's. I love the shells. That's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're 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 all all I know they are. <laughs> Looking around. Yeah. I see them in the paintings. They're hidden it's, everywhere. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> I just feel like there's a, a story behind everyone, and I thought that when we were looking around trying to pick one to pull off the wall, like seeing the, you know, the music and knowing that that's like a, you know, a big part, a big part of, of your, yeah, is, of, really. of, of, yeah, of your, you know, your life and seeing the stuff downstairs, it's like, it seemed like a, an interesting one and the, you know, I, I, you, it, looking at it, I would, you know, maybe it's a different view from the room, but like there's that story behind it and, you know, yeah, I, I'm sure that, uh, Oh yeah, it's like right there. I mean, our the couch is over here. We just, yeah. I mean, that's and it, like it, when they how they have it set up is actually there's a typewriter there mm -hmm. because that's like where the typing. Yeah. But I didn't want to do a typewriter, so yeah. I, I moved things around a little bit. You, yeah, you stayed like, how you <laughs> Yeah. It. Yeah. It's, now yeah. is that one? Is this one that you you've shown places, or is this one? Real specialty that it, that is it not leaving the. Uh, uh, well, the, you know what they they're all for sale. Yes. Yeah. Just um, some of them take more to part with. Take you know like I just I just finished one and it sold right away and I was like oh <laughs> you know, I like to have it hang around a little bit. Yeah, you want to grow possible. tired of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> enough to be go okay. I got to appreciate that. Yeah. And, or you have um, the replacement lined up. To yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's 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 tricky. Or also sometimes I like to just look at things like like I forget like how did I do that? Yeah. And I'll look at the painting and it's informative. Um, yeah, this one I you know because a lot of like the you know you have the, a lot of the beds and stuff you know. Yeah. But in the sheets you know I mean you feel like the the, uh, uh, the curtain or whatever you yeah, whatever the you, they they have that a similar. Yeah, they've got like that. Be that little transparency. Yeah, and, but yeah, like the, all that like bunched up ness is kind yeah. of has that like it's that nice similar that feel. Yeah, but I do like I just I love interiors as you know. Yeah. I, like I do landscapes and I do still lifes and I do other things, but um. Yes, yeah, so you got to go back and forth. I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's not burning yet. Um, but this one, I mean, I wouldn't say it's like, you know, like oh my gosh, that one's I'm holding on to that one. Yeah. But and I hi. I don't think I have exhibited that one very much for mm -hmm. some reason. Yeah, I just Not for any it. reason. I think it was at a gallery for a bit and it didn't sell. Mm -hmm. um, although, you know, it's always funny. There's always interest in things and yeah. you just never know what's going to go or, or not. Yeah, um, no, so just, now it's back on the wall. <laughs> and is, is the title of it? Uh, Musing at Big Pink. Okay. Musings at Big Pink. Okay. That's what it's called. So there is a tie-in in the title? Yes. This, yeah. yeah, for that one. And then I did another one of... Um, Levon on Helm's bedroom where he slept. Yeah. He was the drummer for the band. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, it's at 19, um, like 60 ish sort of feel to yeah. the colors and stuff like yeah. that. But the light was like really shining through the bedroom here. And um, it was just really, it was just cool. But of course, again, I had a guitar there. Yeah. And looking out into sure. the. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And is it, this is in the same, is, is this the This same, is Big Pink. Is this too. the same house? It's just a different... It's upstairs. Different, yeah. um, it's where, like, they all had their bedrooms because yeah. the band, they all actually lived together, too. There. Yeah. They, they played music and lived together. Mm -hmm. So this was Levi Holmes' 
room. But anyway, the sheets. When you room. when you when you're there, is it like is it clear what uh, is it like kind of like a museum in the sense that it's uh, like all the it, rooms have a story or yeah, all the rooms do like you know I, I know like who slept where yeah, um, and they they have. Um, uh, Elliot Landy is a photographer who did a lot of mm -hmm. photographs of the band, so yeah. his, some of his photography is around there. But it feels like a regular house. It doesn't feel like, yeah. you know, like, oh, don't touch, or, yeah. you know, it's really kind of, it's quite comfortable, and it's not mm -hmm. just like you, yeah, just like regular. <laughs> Nothing special, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, it, the interiors, I think, yeah. Well, I just, I you know, I think... Uh, talk to you about that yeah. before too. I just, I, I don't know what, I, I'm really drawn to interiors. If I go yeah. into uh, a museum or a gallery or something, I got like a, a beeline yeah. if there's an interior there. It just, I'm just really attracted well, it's to that. It was fun when, we, when me and Elizabeth were out the last time and we looked at the, yeah, and we saw the space like to see the the room that like one of the one of the paintings oh upstairs yeah, yeah. yeah it's like it's the painting and then you're like oh there's the there's, <laughs> it's, a chain. it's just you know like that kind of like the uh you yeah, know when you're looking at yes. here and you see the, the, the yes. reflections it's just like a, it, yeah. to see it up there in that space was like really cool and it's just you know yeah interesting you're like oh there's there's that chair, there's that table oh my God. i know <laughs> it's kind of even for me because sometimes i'm like oh and it you know yeah, I think I've, I don't, well, I've painted, a, not every single room no. in here, but, but most, like, I don't think I actually have done a painting in this room. No. Um, or the kitchen. Well, you get, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of things, it's like, man, yeah. It's, I know, it's, like, it's, that's it's, mouth, you know. Yeah, I yeah, know, yeah, 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 cool? it's, 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 cool. it's fun to be standing yeah. in, in here looking at this. I know. You know, looking at, yeah, like, you know, I the know. floor. It's just, it's wild. It's, and this mirror, like you yeah. can see, like he even put the, yeah, the texture of that mirror there. And yeah. It's, yeah. And I used to have these lights in here, which I, now I have chalk lighting. But yeah. I had a million of those lights everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, look, I just, the interiors, I don't know if it's because, you know, when I was younger, we moved around a lot. And even as an adult, I moved around a lot, but the furniture all stayed the same. Yeah. So there was something about that. Yeah. Like being like, that was familiar where everything else was new yeah. and so I think there's that's part of it but also and also again you know probably back to childhood I just you know ultimately an introvert so loved just sitting quietly yeah. and watching like sun come through a room yeah and listening to music even back then yeah. just like that would be like your the entertainment like that's what you were doing you were yeah. listening to music and you were sitting there and you were like observing like that was the activity yeah. Um, watching the dust particles fall in. I read a lot even back then, so I still read a lot. Yeah. So that this was book, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I love seeing the books. I'm trying to get that, <laughs> that's like another thing I'm trying to do is like incorporate books into this you know, into the store like uh, art books. I just feel like the I, I'm doing things where we shoot stuff where we you know take pictures of frames and or small ones. I feel like books pair well with frames like when it see these like rooms that are staged uh, you always see the art books yeah you wonder if people yes. actually read them you know like yeah. I, like I, like what I'm open I mostly look at the pictures yeah that's, yeah, well, that's why I, that's <laughs> yeah I'm not a big re reader but just opening them up and flipping through the pictures and like you know I feel like a stack of books pairs nicely with a with a frame next to it like you know live yeah. in library spaces so I, mean, I want to try to bring in some some of those too the they're inspiring too yeah. I mean I look at my books almost every time before I start painting. Yeah. Um, I'll look through books or also I have like folders of tear out sheets of all kinds of things that I've mm -hmm. torn out of magazines or postcards or anything that I've liked. Yeah. Um, of course nowadays you could do like Pinterest or something yeah. but, and I just am um, I'm too old. <laughs> yeah. You, you <laughs> My brain doesn't work that way to think to do that that mm -hmm. much but um, but yeah I love I just look at those things to kind of I don't know every, but I do it every time before I start painting. Just to get like the kind of creative juices going yeah. and look at the way colors are relating to each other and then I know somewhere in there is going to be my painting when I've narrowed it down to you know usually a dozen or less yeah. of images and um, they don't have to be all of like interiors or anything yeah. that could be an abstract painting or something but the colors the way they're relating to yeah. each other just finding a small piece of something and yeah like and I just go oh I like that way that that's interacting together and so somehow that will end up in my painting or 
<clears throat> not necessarily, but it, it kind of morphs. I don't know how to explain it. So it yeah. like starts here. They're usually all over the floor. Yeah. And then I kind of, I'm like, yeah, in there somewhere. And then it just sort of, it's, it, it, it doesn't end up being really anything like that. Sometimes it, it's a little bit more like the colors, but a lot yeah. of times it just morphs into whatever inspiration happens. I don't know yeah. how to explain that feeling of when that comes over you. And you just go intuitively into your painting. Yeah. <laughs> it's just very cool. Like you were saying, the evolution, I love watching the progression yeah. of that. It's it's a beautiful thing to see. I just love it. And, you know, then I have new people too. And mm -hmm. um, and it's also kind of cool because I have, like, especially in the summer, the ages get mixed up yeah. a little bit because, you know, kids have school during yeah. when I teach. Um, but they have to be 15 yeah. to, to do it. But they're, and usually they're mature and they want to be yeah. there and um, and that that's always worked out well too for both. Like they, I think the kids enjoy it, and so don't the adults like yeah. having them in there because it's you learn from both all yeah. ages, you know. So yeah, that's good. Well, awesome. Okay. Thank, thank you so, thank you so, thank you so much. much. Like this is you're so. This is gonna be wonderful. Good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and keep the notifications turned on so you don't miss any of our future episodes and you can learn more about the Frame Center Art Project.